Najla, my name is Khurshid Al Hasan Khan. I am from Uncle K Live TV and Radio. And uh, thank you for giving us the time. We would like to know about your company and your products because we know Afghanistan and I interviewed somebody before here also. I told them also that we knew only Afghanistan as dry food at home. Then we found out that you are doing this uh, the spices, the spices, and this uh, saffron. Right. Yes, that was a little bit surprising for me. Then he told us the history. Right. So right. would you like to enhance on that? And then you, you, you are from a government department, right? True. Um, well, we are working with Ministry of Commerce and Industries. Um, and uh, I'm part of Export Promotion Agency of Afghanistan. I'm working in the capacity of CEO there. Um, one of our basics and important rule is that uh, we promote Afghan products outside of Afghanistan. As you see here today, we have different sectors. We have at least three sectors, which is uh, all of them are agriculture products. We have uh, spices, we have natural herbs, and we also have uh, dry fruits. So basically, with elaborating on these uh, key products, we would like to uh, be in this, um, even be able to export our products in any other countries apart from the region, which is our main market, like India, Pakistan, or the originally cultural markets that we've always been able to access them. So therefore, uh, our aim is basically that um, through this Gulf food, we will find some different uh, companies, different countries to work with, new ones, while we will maintain the old ones. Um, yeah, when you ask about the products we are exporting, we are not only exporting those three agriculture products that I have just mentioned, apart from the, we have fresh fruit, and dry, uh, we have fresh fruit which is like famous for Kandahari and R in all the world. Apple, especially. Uh, Apple is the, from Wardak, that's the famous one. Sorry? Apple is from Wardak, one of the provinces okay, the of I Afghanistan. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 it's like uh, the place. So the apple, the pomegranate, like the fresh fruit, the grapes which we have are quite famous. But on the other hand, we also export products like um, from the marble, we have like the best onyx marble in the world which actually competes with Carrara marble of Italy. So we also have different other commodities which is basically handicrafts. Um, the carpets. The carp exactly, the carpets which is um, a world recognition for us, our carpets, the hand, uh, the hand waving one. We also have, uh, we are also working on the Kashmira because uh, the, Kashmi the Kashmira. What is that? Um, it is uh, basically the silk and uh, the silk we will make from that, the, from the Kashmir. Uh, is it something like it's famous from Kashmir, that shawl? The shawls, like exactly. It's like and, a... Uh, Padmina. What is the name of that? Pashmina. Pashmina, sorry. Right, right, right. Is it something similar? It's something okay. similar. So we will have... Um, well, we will. It it, ha, it needs quite a little bit of labor for for making Kashmira, and uh, then we will be able to have like the silk trolls or anything like and that. And it's uh, not cultured silk; it's uh, natural silk. It's natural, absolutely. Then you grow them and. On the silk side, we have uh, natural silk. Uh, on the Kashmira side, where we have the, it's more of a wool thing that we make, like Pashmina. Or that's the one. And the, on the other hand, we also have um, um, products like arts, wooden work. Uh, we also have calligraphy. Wooden work, I've not seen them of Pakistan. Handicraft, you have artists there who can design. And yeah, do. definitely. You can Google. I thought artists would look down at it. <laughs> no. No, a lot of changes. Uh, I mean, improvement has been done in the last 13 years, but of course the improvement have been not to that extent, but it has been a little bit you slow. You have to pay hard for it. Absolutely, absolutely. So we have, um, um, we have currently the other uh, products that we are looking into is basically gemstones. Uh, we have semi-precious and precious gemstones. That's one part which we never mentioned. Of course, yeah, of course that is we are rich with the minerals. And uh, yeah, the extraction has been a little bit uh, difficult for Afghans to take the benefit of the gemstones, but uh, eventually it will come in the demand. the conditions there, they must be stolen now. 
Yeah. You don't have no control over those. Absolutely. We but aren't you representing those gems and all those things here, all your products? Um, not here. As I said earlier, in here we only have three commodities um, from agriculture products. That's uh, spices, natural herbs, and dry fruits. On the dry fruits, we have a number of dry fruits like pine nuts, almonds, walnut, raisins, uh, and different kind of raisins, uh, and also fig. Uh, which are the key uh, production of Afghan um, dry fruits. Yeah, fig, uh, when you come to raisins, isn't that sultanas? Do you also have that? Yes, know? yes, we do have. Uh, we have are they seedless or with seed? Uh, the sultanas are without seed. Okay. Uh, what uh, we have at the moment, we have 70 types of different grapes in Afghanistan, which grows in different parts of Afghanistan but mainly on the east of Afghanistan and north of Afghanistan. Uh, these products basically um, helps us to have different kind and different variety of raisins. So we have uh, here at the moment four types of the raisins which we, uh, we have brought with ourselves. So in other words, because grape is a very tender fruit, very difficult to export and you know, keep it, so you just make it into a raisin, uh, raisin in your um, one of the issues which we have at the Afghanistan at the moment is um, we have so much production of grapes that we are not in a position to export all of them at once when they come to the market because they are seasonal product. So whatever we can export, we do export. And um, whatever is the market consumption, they, it's like in the market. Uh, but the extras is, is like actually turned into the raisins, so and they keep it, and they, we export it like throughout the year. Like, uh, like New Zealand and all, they have surplus of milk, so they make milk powder out. Of Absolutely. It. That's very wise. Yeah. Very wise. Anything else we are going to introduce? You didn't mention the saffron. It's not your favorite subject. No, I said natural herbs, uh, saffron, natural, yeah. Saffron is the king of natural Yeah, that's true. Saffron is the king of natural herbs, and that's why uh, the key, uh, I mean, we have started um, raising the awareness on the saffron of Afghanistan, and which we have been very successful. Last year, we have got the best award for the best quality um, of saffron among 14 different international and particularly European countries. So it means the Afghan saffron is one of its best of its kind because of the color and the smell. And you say best, are you surpassing Spain, are you surpassing Kashmir? Right, right. That's Be good. That's because good. we came, um, one of the best, if you go to Google it, that Afghan saffron was the winner of the first prize in Belgium. You'll find out that uh, we have been in a position that the quality and the color and the smell are the two things that helps the understand the quality and it comes in the first position because of the smell and the taste and everything. But yeah, we do not have as much production as the Spain, Kashmir or any other country, Iran has it. Uh, what we are doing, we are working on the production side. Uh, we are, I mean, if you compare this year to previous year, we have increased 60% in the entire production of saffron. But hopefully, still, we are not able to meet the market demand, particularly the European market demand and outside of Afghanistan. So what we are doing, we are still working hard for it because it's a very labor-incentive um, product. It, uh, like if from 2,000 flowers, you only get one kg of saffron. I know. That's what he was telling me. So, uh, Najula, my uh, compliments to you for coming here for the... You know, it's... a. Uh, it takes courage to start doing something instead of going into depression, going to the you know uh, motivation and right. all that. I wish you all the success. Thank you. Because uh, just one point only. When you say you cannot meet the demand, isn't that a gift from God for you to stand Thank up you. instead of fighting with each other? Absolutely. Just turn from there and start. You know, absolutely. I, I think these uh, are marvels of God. Absolutely. I think. Uh, we have uh, a beautiful gift of rich and organic products and uh, I'm very hopeful very soon everybody will realize that and we will be in a position to make it more success by using our weaknesses as a strength and come up in the market and be there for each other. So hopefully I'm, I'm envisioning a very beautiful Afghanistan because uh, 
the business will run Afghanistan, not uh, whatever has been our name into. Like we have been a news breaker over the time. Uh, but you know, no, the, that was your strategic place there. Uh, not your yeah, fault. but uh, like, uh, but now we want to change that impression that Afghanistan is enriched with products. So you is open the silk road again. Absolutely. Inshallah. Okay. Inshallah. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. All the best. Take care. Thank you.